Hi, this is Jenny from the lab, and on this video I'm going to talk about the macroscopic evaluation of the semen analysis. And by macroscopic, I mean what you can see with your eyes. So, let's go! Once the sample is accepted into the andrology lab, we have to allow it to liquefy, as the ejaculate is a semi-solid coagulated mass. I would say it looks like slime. And we use a heated stage at 37 degrees to facilitate liquefaction. And by liquefaction, I mean to become more watery but it will still have higher viscosity than water. And complete liquefaction will be normally achieved within 15 to 30 minutes. Once the sample has liquefied, it should have an homogeneous cream gray opalescent appearance. But it's actually too white, because I've been using milk as a substitute. Now we're going to proceed to open the sterile sample container. And one of the things that we can immediately assess is its odor. It sometimes smells okay, but I have to admit that it never smells of roses but sometimes it has a strong odor of urine or putrefaction and we have to note this down as it can be of clinical importance. Once the container is open, we proceed to measure the volume with a plastic disposable pipette. And the normal values go from 1.5 milliliters to 5.5 milliliters. There's no need to fill the container completely. Then, when we drop the sample back to the container, we can assess the viscosity. As if we let it fall drop by drop, and it actually falls drop by drop, that means that the viscosity is normal. But if it forms a thread of more than 2 cm long, that means that the viscosity is abnormal. With the remaining drops left in the plastic pipette, we can measure the pH with a pH strip. and the semen pH should be between 7.2 and 7.8. So this would be the colors. So to sum up, the macroscopic evaluation of the semen includes the assessment of the liquefaction, appearance, odor, volume, viscosity, and pH. I hope you liked this video, but this was just part one of the semen analysis. Soon you'll be able to see part two, the microscopic evaluation.